Yeah, 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 okay, the emphasis is on amusing, okay. Well, I'll try. I can't, I can't promise anything. Because, <coughs> you know, what with the battle and all we've been through for all these years, and the spiritual dimension of the unreal, allegedly, but actually very real supernatural, because it works in different frequency belts and the flow period of the psychic analysis pickup sensorium level, then we're going to have to do more art because Patsy, my friend and dear brother, reminded us today of the five things we need to master to be a great man. They are love, war, art, knowledge of aliens and science. I would go further to say biblical knowledge actually. But you know, there are no fixed rules. Putsy's talking bollocks, he always talks bollocks. But he's a lovely, lovely little buddy, 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 buddy. And then I nearly sprained my larynx. But he is a lovely little buddy, buddy, buddy. And I've loved him all my life since I first met him. He was my little buddy. I think I've just ruptured a hole in my throat. Anyway, so the point is art with new. Art with new. Once again, we're in the art class, and I've been a bit busy this week, kids. But no, I'll save the best for last. Firstly, we're going to work with this little diagram that came up. Now, you may not know what this is, no one does. Not even me. But, it's very interesting this. This is an early diagram, completely wrong, but meant to define the, the four faces on what a spaceship looks like that's mentioned in the Old and potentially the New Testament. Okay, at least in the Old Testament, in Ezekiel 1, there is a spaceship, and it has four faces, and there's a, a man's face, an ox's face, a lion's face, and an eagle's face, and it has, around it, a ring of, it has the system of eyes, okay, now what if eyes means cameras, this is wild, I told you we're going to rock it, I told you we are going to flow into the uber dimension of religious purposes. And so anyway, we go on. The thing is, when I was doing this, I realised I was talking to Sarah. I was trying to show her how I saw the four faces, okay. But then I realised, look, it's a, bit, it's a bit sexually phallic, isn't it, really, too. Which is weird, because I wasn't thinking that at all. But Sarah is the one I love in the name of Christianity. Who's my, she's my Christian love. She always has been. She's the one in, who we both believe in Jesus together. That's our thing. We do Bible studies together. And it's so cool. And I really enjoy it. And we get really excited about it. And it's like being on the Indiana Jones adventure every time with her. And that's why I will protect her from speeding trucks, exploding mines, and all sorts of antisocial debris from the fair room should it ever occur. Like Indy would. But is she as fit as Indy's birds? No, not quite. But it doesn't really matter. The love is sincere. And it's there. Now look at this little number. This is a shocker, isn't it? Don't worry, it's meant to look like that. All this is artistic illusion for a gag. I made this one night in a state of mind that only I can know about and understand, particularly at any juncture, according to anyone's flight whim. But nevertheless, let's read it, shall we? Decoding the field structure. In one essence, the totality of modern tech, two basic states on-off extrapolated using high-level mind-bending around concepts and augmentation of intellect. Reality one, the flying insect. Compound eye technology in the biological field. What can we learn? How can we know their concept of space-time awareness? Field wipes. Look, observe, think. Their cellular eyes are ocular, cellular, and of and of saying, what the dick is? They can negotiate highly advanced flight patterns, innately vector one, analyze. Their wings are so thin, micro, so how is flight possible? Creating a highly concentrated, high octane, localized VTOL 
That stands for vertical takeoff and landing, in case you don't recognize the word VTOL. System in their latent bio biology, something functional. A compound I schematic. That is the compound I schematic. Alright. Modal ocular tiny cell reflection biotech operative at in 8 miles an hour high intensity aerial speed vectors. Warp drives. So basically, this was a load of bollocks written down very fast, looking very generically at insect eyes. To imagine that if we were going to create a warp drive system, perhaps we should look at the relative functioni functionality of, of insects' ability to negotiate flight, given they can interact with reality at a far higher speed than humans do. And it's proven. They th they're, they're about 400 times more instinctive than humans to light. Which is a sign of intellect. So they're very high fast. They're very fast. That's why they can negotiate weird bends and mad contours in the air. Because their little blight is sinking in a different dimension of reality to us. So, can we create synthetic machines which operate according to a, an insect's knowledge? Ever ask yourself that? No. I don't think you sometimes ask yourself anything. And there, ladies and gentlemen. Appears to resist the answer to my work this week. This is Bogarton Stench, it should say it on the sign, as you will see in a sec. But this is Bogarton Stench, and it took me a while to really create that wonderful graphic for the Super Doodles community. Who are my chums? Who are my buddies? Who are resplendent and workable and live hearty, good, fun lives in my noggin and my brain and my wonderland? And no one can hurt them. No one can hurt them. No one can hurt them. Not me. <laughs> and I'm not going to. I'm going to let them live. I'm going to let them live. So there we are. Weirdos are us, apparently, according to the people of no imagination. But imagination is a land filled with super doodles. And I tell you, I want to be the wrong gang, the wrong town, and the wrong hood if I mess with the super doodles clan. They'll win every time in numbers. And wit and wisdom and high class anarchic shenanigans to stay out of the game. Because the game ain't winning and it's not playing. Know what I'm saying? Hey, chicken liver. Turn the rodeo on the main floor. Everyone's a winner, baby. That's the truth. You just got to look within and realize why are you a winner. Why are you a winner? Look in the mirror and go, why am I a winner? And think. And think, oh, it might be because of that. All that. You can't be a complete DOS loser. There's very few of them. And generally, they had very bad parents. I'll leave it there. Until next time, chaps. And welcome to Art with New 2 Electric Boogaloo. We think it gets you higher. <laughs>